Hey guys, so this past weekend, I challenged myself to overhaul our messy art department for less than $30, and I absolutely love the results. It was pretty painless, dare I say fun, so let's do it. Okay, so this is the side of the playroom slash office that I do not let you guys see. There is zero organization happening here. But we are only in this rental for another few months, so I didn't want to spend a ton of time or cash. All right, here goes nothing. So first, I saw these washer bins that I thought were the perfect size to store basic paper or just to toss good scraps that we never had home for. Next, I got these two larger bins for storing cardstock and colored paper. By the way, I had auditioned these. Oh no, <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, you gotta watch out for quality. And then the second bin we used for stickers. I saw a locker shelf and just sort of loved it. I like to say it gives the area height and we put a $5 spinner on top full of all things sparkly and crafty. And then if you go to the gardening section, there are a lot of great looking tins that are perfect for storing markers, etc. And I saw these hanging ones, just couldn't resist. Oh yeah. It does help that we have a push pin wall, but I gotta admit, this is like just for looks and I love it. This makes me so happy. Um, to get even more ridiculous, there were some magnet tiles nearby. Yes, we went there. Magnet tile labels for all things metal. You saw it here first. Wait, we should check the web to make sure that, <laughs> make sure no one else did it first. And finally, I saw these $2 caddies. And you guys, this was in one of our mom hack shows, turning them into a personal on the go homework station. But I hadn't made them for my kids, so I spray painted Presley's gold. She's obsessed. Oh, this is so. <gasps> And my own stapler. They're no longer asking me where all their homework supplies are. What do you think of it, Ford? Awesome. Uh huh. And I found a mini one for Tess. Do you like it? Yes. A couple more notes. We are saving up all of our old markers to send back to Crayola. Who does not put caps on? Tess is I know. <laughs> and I'm keeping a box of our crayons to hopefully use on a rainy day project. All right, guys. So here is the before and the after. Let's add up the total cost. $29, I did it, um, but I do have a confession to make. That is not all I spent at the 99 cent store. How are we ending up with all this? Home sweet home with way more stuff than we need. I am now the proud owner of an Elsa chair. Are you gonna go all the way to the cash register like that? Elsa earrings and tiara. I don't know about organizational supplies, but we got jewelry. <laughs> and last but not least, a pole that grabs things. Ford is obsessed. <laughs> How much is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> For one dollar. Actually, I think this is pretty good value, but anyway, if you wanna stay focused, definitely go solo. Uh, but I will say my kids had a blast and they are loving their new art supply station. If you're loving it too, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. I will see you guys next week. Bye.